Today, I want to show you how you can use speed ramping to slow down your clip, speed them up, or even connect clips together smoothly in DaVinci Resolve. Let's go. Alright, so we're here in DaVinci Resolve and we have a clip loaded into the timeline. This is a clip where you can see someone pull a bag out of a truck, opening the bag and then pulling a camera out of it. Now we want to emphasize this movement where he pulls the camera out of the bag. So yeah, this is kind of like the, uh, the place where we want to slow it down. We want to slow it down as he pulls it up here or where the marker is right here. And to do that, we can either right click and select retime curve, or we can also just press shift C. And then you'll open up a menu for the retiming of the speed. Now, keep in mind, you have to have selected retime speed here and not retime frame in order to change the speed of the clip. Now you get this uh, linear line here. And what you want to do on that line is you want to create a point where the speed changes. And to do that, you hold down Option or Alt on Windows and you press the line right here. Now, this is a point where the speed will change. Now, because this clip is recorded in 120 frames per second, I've sped it up to 500% to match a normal um, looking frame rate for the video. So we want to make this clip go slower as he pulls it out of the bag. So we just start by pulling it way down here. And let's pull it all the way down to, let's say, 100%, which is like the normal playing speed of 120 frames per second. So we got it here. And then we can see there's a jump here. Now, this clip is going to play back like this. And you can see the change in speed. So you can see that it changes dramatically fast. It's like super jittery, doesn't really look so good. So how can we change that? Now we're gonna press this point right here and we get to choose what kind of transition happens here. And we can see it's happening here in a straight line or in a rounded line. And we wanna press the rounded line and then we get this. You can see it kind of eases down here and eases up again. So this transition is gonna be way smoother than the one that we just watched. So let's see how it compares. Way smoother, way smoother, but we can make it even smoother if you want to by taking these points here and we can drag those a little longer. That's going to make it even smoother. So let's check out how that looks. It's way better. And we can do this on the whole clip wherever we want so we can just select this place right here and we can make it go fast again so we can drag it all the way up to 500 percent again and that way we can make it go slow and then fast right away so now that we, we have two points where it changes speed we can just go and play it again it slows down and it speeds back up so you can use this as a method to emphasize movements in your clip really easily and make your footage look overall way better. Now, how can we use this even more to our advantage? So we have this clip where someone is closing the trunk of a car and then someone, that being me, walking beside the car. So looking at it like this, it's pretty basic. It just cuts between. It's not really anything happening. Now to make this even better, we can just go in here where the clip ends and where he pushes up. This is a great point where we can use this as a editing technique. And we can start here by doing a keyframe again. And we can make it go faster so that the movement goes faster in this clip. So it's going to go fast. And remember, we're going to smooth it out as well. So it's going to go like this. Now we can make this go faster, but this works out for us, I think. So now we're going to take the other clip and we're going to bring it over here and we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna go into retime curve and we are gonna select retime speed again and we're gonna select a point in this clip where he is getting here in front of the car so let's select a point where we want the speed to be normal again and we're gonna make it go fast as well so the speed in the end of the first clip is gonna be fast and the speed in the second clip in the beginning is gonna be fast as well so it's way easier on the eye when you're looking at the edit just like that approximately and we're gonna smooth it out as well so now we have two clips that are kind of matching in speed when the cut happens 
And that's gonna make the cut look even more smooth. Like that. You see, it's way nicer on the eye. So it starts in slow motion, it goes fast, keeps on going fast, and slows down again. So that's way nicer than the harsh cut that we saw before. Uh, one more thing you can do with this is you can take a sound effect like a uh, whoosh sound and you can put it under the effect. So we put the high point of the whoosh under the transition. And what happens now is that you're going to see how the sound impacts the video even more. Just like that. So that was just a quick tutorial on how you can use speed ramps in your videos to up the quality and to make them all around better. My name is David, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.